Hello YouTube, NeoSolid22 back again with another pickup video. <clears throat> well, we had another St. Louis Retro Gamers meetup. I picked up a couple of lots off of uh, some Facebook buy sell trade things and uh, got a good bit to show you. <clears throat> also got a couple other things that uh, I've been meaning to show in a pickup video for a while I kept forgetting. So we'll go ahead and get started. First, I guess I'll start with the uh, GameCube lot I picked up. This was on a buy sell trade group on uh, Facebook, um, just in my local, my hometown here. Um, first, it came with one of these little cases, just for disc. Uh, nothing in it, and uh, I don't really want this case, but I refuse to give this case to anyone. In fact, I'll keep this case forever, because these are horrible. This case is awful. The problem is, is when you get this case, here's another part of my pickup, by the way. Zelda, promotional disc. Has all the, uh, has of course Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, Link, and Majora's Mask on it. So I got this with this lot. But what happens is, kids get this, little guy, and then they just take this disc out, and they just throw the freaking case away and put the disc in here. And then we've got a loose disc, no case, drives me crazy. So this, it's going in my collection and never leaving, so nobody can abuse a GameCube disc. And I will never use this, but it will never leave my possession just to save it. Save GameCube disc, which at this point, most kids aren't getting GameCube disc. But this is just, it, it's, it's awful. Who wants that? Nobody. Anyway, back to the finds. That's my little rant for this video. Zelda promotional disc in mint shape. Complete manual disc, of course. So got that. Um, actually already traded off one of these at the meetup, but this is my personal copy. Super Smash Bros. Melee. The one I got was actually a uh, Greatest Hits copy. This is not. Uh, you'll see in here there's actually a memory card in here that came with this lot. But it was a complete Super Smash Bros. Melee, so much like mine, except it was the Player's Choice Greatest Hits deal with the yellow. Um, Metal of Honor Frontline. Good game. Not worth a whole lot. This one's also complete. Got the manual in the little insert. Um, NBA 2K3. Complete. So that's nice. Sports games on GameCube. Whatever, you know. Super Monkey Ball 2. Also complete. Star Wars Jedi Outcast. Also complete. And I'm uh, really excited about this. I've been wanting this one for a while. Sonic Mega Collection. Complete. Got everything in there. Even a little register online Sega card. So that's pretty cool. And this comes with Sonic, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic 3D Blast, Sonic Spinball, and Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. So that's pretty cool. And then, also on this GameCube block, which I picked this up for 50 bucks, a boxed Indigo GameCube. So that's very nice. And additionally, I don't have them in front of me, but it came with two first-party uh, black GameCube controllers and, of course, the Indigo controller that goes with this. Everything's in here. Power cable, AV cable, and the controller's actually laying on my couch over there. But anyway, this was a great deal. I really appreciate it. I've been wanting a box for my GameCube for a while, so now I've got two GameCubes, one boxed, one not. And it uh, came with all those games. For $50, you can't beat that, so that was a great deal. Um, then another buy sell trade deal that I picked up today um, came with this beautiful pink case um, anyway I, I get forty dollars for this a green DSI and it came with 27 games a charger and five styluses and this awesome pink bag so the games I'm never really gonna get into the games too much I'll kind of go over the uh, the best games because there's a lot of kids games which is good because I have kids that like to play these things uh, but some, some of the better games were uh, New Super Mario Brothers which I actually already had um, Lego Batman and these are all just uh, cartridge only of course uh, Indiana Jones and the Staff of Kings which I've never played I'll check that one out and uh, a couple of the Scribble Knots games I'm not going to show you everyone but you can see all the games and there's actually some some more games and some extra cases over here some little uh, like plastic carry cases and see this is this is what drives me crazy that all these cases were likely thrown away or these were bought at GameStop where they threw the cases away but that drives me crazy but yeah for 40 bucks I mean that's a ridiculous deal came with a charger too of course so that's pretty great 
Um, as you can see, this one's actually on right now. My son's been playing it. It works perfectly. Uh, we were playing Mini Land Mayhem, Mario and Donkey Kong, which is a pretty great game. So, got that for 40. Really excited about that. Really needed some more kids games for my, uh, for my son to play on his 2DS. And uh, then I'll let my other son play this uh, DS now that I have an extra one. I actually have three. One's broken, one's my... Uh, original DS Lite, now I got a DSi, so pretty cool there. Um, then I hopped into Goodwill today real quick because I heard from Martin Hassett in the St. Louis Retro Gamers Group that they were having a 50% off media sale. He said there wasn't much there, but I went ahead and dropped in and uh, I went back to the back and I saw this. And so I, I opened it up and there's no manual and uh, no disc inside, so I thought maybe they have it behind the counter, but there's no number written in here. So I was like, yeah, it's probably stolen. So I went to the counter, the girl opened it, she's like, oh no, it's stolen. I was like, well, what do you do with the case? And they're like, well, I guess we'll just throw it away. And I was like, dang it, no. <laughs> Please don't throw it away, can I have it? And her boss was like, uh, yeah, you can have it for 50 cents. So I was like, cool, I'll take it for 50 cents. And the reason being, because I've got this, a loose Soul Calibur 2 for places 2. Now granted, greatest hits, not greatest hits, but, Nonetheless, I got a nice case, Soul Calibur 2 case, to put my Soul Calibur 2 disc loose that I got a while back in. So, picked that up, 50 cents for the, the case. I actually paid less than that, I think, for the game when I bought it loose. So, pretty nice, Soul Calibur 2. Not complete, but close for uh, 50 cents for the case. Alright, the rest of this stuff I'm going to show you is from the meetup. Uh, some of it I had on hold from some people, so I was just picking it up. Uh, first off, um, for Matthew Gurley, this is a couple of things I got from him. He picked up a couple of Final Fantasy games that I needed uh, for me. So there was Final Fantasy Origins for the PS1, of course. And that's Final Fantasy 1 and Final Fantasy 2 for the PS1. I prefer the PSP versions of them. It's a very good transfer of them if you ever get a chance to get the PSP versions, which I have. But... You don't get this kind of disc art on the PSP versions. That's fantastic disc art. And of course this is complete. It's got the backing and the manual. So very happy to have that. That's another part of my collection down. And then what can sort of be called a Final Fantasy game, but not really. But I figured it should be part of my collection. Chocobo Racing. So it's like a Mario Kart clone with Chocobos and you know Final Fantasy type stuff. So there's the disc. It is complete. So I'm pretty happy to have this. It's actually supposed to be a pretty decent game. And it's not actually a cheap game. So um, it's nice to have it. It didn't pay, didn't pay a too bad of a price for it either. Matt picked that up for me at V-Stock, I think, is where he got it. It's because he saw it one day. So I got that. And then uh, Matt also had some stuff for sale too. So I picked up Inbox Pitfall for Super Nintendo. Let's just pop it open real quick. I haven't even opened it. Super complete. Manuals, everything, di uh, disc, cartridge. So, you know, put that one on the shelf. It's my first Super Nintendo boxed game. Hope to follow that up with some Final Fantasy boxed games at some point. Um, and there's a couple other things I'll mention later from Matthew Gurley because I got a big stack of stuff that I want to show lastly. Um, all right, more from the meetup. Uh, Alexander Souza, we had it at his place. And he had gotten a bunch of box games to see if he wanted to replace any of his fantastic box collection with any of these boxes. Well, he said they were all for sale, so because his boxes were pretty good. So I picked up some boxed NES games. Uh, Strider, which is great because uh, this copy of Strider that's in the box is much better shape than mine was. This has actually got a little rental sticker on it I'll have to take off, but that's pretty easy to take off. But this is in much better shape. Uh, just box only, no manual, but... I can live with that, no big deal there. Uh, so I'll just I'll slide that back in the box. I probably won't take any of the rest of these out of the box. But then there's Lunar Pool, boxed. Um, again, just the box, no manual. But, uh, you know, not bad there. This one I was excited about. I actually had a copy of this and I traded it off at the meet because I got this copy Godzilla, Monster of Monsters. Uh, Pretty cool, cool box. Like I said, another, another one, just a box, of course, with the game. So I got that. I traded off my other copy. I've actually got a copy of Strider too, but it's in really bad shape, like I said. So I didn't get that traded off. But and then Captain Skyhawk, which is missing the insert, but the game's in good condition. The box is in pretty poor shape, but I'll get some kind of uh, 
something to put it in to make it better, but Captain Skyhawk boxed. So kind of working my way into boxed NES games. I didn't used to grab, grab them because they're too pricey, but that was a really good deal Alex gave me on those. Uh, so I grabbed those, you know, no big deal there. Um, this is a V-Stock pickup actually real quick. Mega Man 8, 10th anniversary edition, really no difference, but didn't have Mega Man 8, so check that out. Got that at V-Stock for 10 bucks. Pretty cool. Uh, some more from Alex. I traded him that Super Smash Bros. Melee that I got with that GameCube lot and for some uh, PS2 games. I've been looking at some of his PS2 games for a while. He had a big box of them, so I went through them and grabbed some to kind of make up for the value. So what I got? RPG Maker 3, which I'm really looking forward to checking out. Not complete, but the disc is in good shape. A couple more for the Final Fantasy collection. These are the online entries. Two of the Final Fantasy XI expansion packs for the PS2. I am still looking for like a uh, hard drive for the PS2. The hard boxed hard drive Final Fantasy XI edition would be great to get my hands on. I don't have that. This one doesn't have a manual, but anyway, good stuff there. So that's actually uh, Treasures of Ahi Ergen, maybe? I don't know how to pronounce it. And uh, Chains of Promethea. So that's pretty cool. Then I got a uh, Miss 3 Exile for PS2. Uh, that's got like a ridiculous instruction manual in it and the disc, of course, so it's complete. And what I thought was really cool, King of Fighters box set, two disc. It's got the game disc and then the bonus disc in it, so I thought that's really cool. It's in pretty good shape. The uh, case is not perfect, but it kind of opens up. Gives you a nice cool little art there. It's SNK, of course, Neo Geo. Uh, PlayStation 2. King of Fighters is great. If you never played King of Fighters, any King of Fighters games, check them out. Then, uh, the last of the games that I got from the meetup, I said I traded off the Godzilla, and I got uh, the Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse, which <laughs> I'm not even sure if I already have. I wasn't sure, so I just went and grabbed it because it was about the right value. So I may be trading this off, or maybe even throwing it into the contest here soon, so you guys look out for the contest. Uh, then I got from Dave Roberts Jr., he had some games for some really good prices, so I got Platoon for NES. I think I gave him three bucks for that. I didn't have that one, so that's going in the collection, obviously. And then this was the best deal, a game I've actually been wanting for a while. This is a, a special version of it. And I don't have many games for Saturn, but this is one I really wanted. Battle Arena Toshinden Remix. So that's for Saturn. Looking forward to checking that out. I need to hook my Saturn up anyway and play it in a while. Complete. If I can get the case open. These cases are so scary to open in my opinion because they're so fragile but yeah so that's a fantastic deal right there and then finally finally i have gotten a game i've been looking for forever it's it was my white whale my moby moby dick of course couldn't find it been hunting it for a long time wanted to get it for a good price i got it for a price that i didn't feel bad about paying uh brandon haddix actually picked it up for me and he picked up some more stuff for me too i'm going to show you in a second Final Fantasy 3, finally, for the Super Nintendo. Finally got my hands on this. It was the biggest part of my collection that I was missing from my Final Fantasy collection. So I'm super excited to have this. Super excited to actually play it on its original system, which I never have played it on the Super NES, so I'm definitely gonna do that. Uh, label's not in perfect shape or anything. That's why I got it for a pretty decent price. Back's peeling a little bit, but there's a little peeling up here on top. But it goes right along with my Final Fantasy 2 on Super NES, because it's about the same. So that's awesome that I got that. All right, now I gotta get back here and get this other part of the finds here. Oh. All right. So you probably just heard me slamming books down. That's because I got a whole lot of strategy guides to show you. First off, uh, Matthew Gurley had a couple of really cool strategy guides. First, Skyward Sword which I haven't beaten this game because I thought it was one of the weakest Zeldas I've ever played. Didn't like it that much, but maybe I'll go back and play it with this strategy guide, which is in great shape. Excellent, excellent shape strategy guide. Pretty cool. Prima strategy guide. Um, I've actually already got a strategy guide for this, but I don't have this version. I've got the hardcover version. So this is the Twilight Princess GameCube manual version. I've got the hardcover for this. This is the Premiere Edition, and it's got awesome art on the back. So... Pick that up also from Matthew Gurley and with that pitfall and that other manual. So really happy to have that. 
Now this is what Brandon Haddix, more stuff Brandon Haddix had for me. He picked it up for me at a Game Over. That's where he got the Final Fantasy III out in Union. So I'm going to go through these pretty quick. Some of them are in bad shape, but uh, it's Final Fantasy manuals. So I've got Final Fantasy X2 manual. Got a little messing up on the spine there. There's a Final Fantasy 13 guide. Sorry, I said manual, I meant guide. So the guide for Final Fantasy 13. That one's actually in pretty good shape. Final Fantasy 13 2 guide, which is weird because it's actually about the same size, maybe even bigger than Final Fantasy 13 manual. So I guess the game was basically the same size, but these are pretty great, cool manuals to have. Then you got me, this one's in really rough shape, but I really liked it. I used to have this, I don't know what happened to it. Final Fantasy 7 strategy guide, as you can see, it's, it's in the kind of rough shape, but the inside looks really good. It's been well used as it should have been because whoever played Final Fantasy 7 had to play it multiple times probably. Another one that's in rough shape and I, I didn't like this game all that much in the Final Fantasy but it's okay. This one's in really bad shape. Final Fantasy 8 guide. Uh, then one I really need to get back to playing. I've never beaten it. Final Fantasy 9 guide. Also in a little rough shape. Uh, my second, second or third, well it's my second favorite Final Fantasy game since the Super Nintendo, I suppose. Final Fantasy X Guide, which I got on PS2. It's a great game. If you ever get a chance to play it and you haven't, do it. So those are the Final Fantasy guides Brandon picked up for me at Game Over. So I was really happy to have those add them to my Final Fantasy collection. And then here's a couple more I picked up on a two-for-one sale at uh, V-Stock. First I got Turok Official Strategy Guide, which I've never seen. Actually, um, it's Turok 2. Sorry, Turok 2. Um, kind of cool. It's got the maps and stuff in here. Um, and there's a cheat code written in the front in pencil. So, you know, if I need that. Pretty cool manual. Nice to have. I kind of like these older manuals. They're kind of cool. And then uh, a manual for a great game. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, which I've beaten. And I love that game. But this is a pretty cool manual to have. So I got that. So I guess that's it. Uh, it's a really good good week for me, obviously. I got the big lots and lots of stuff from the meetup, but pretty fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed seeing all the finds. Um, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hopefully we'll get 50 subscribers here soon and I can have a subscriber contest. Thanks for watching.